Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my four powerful hair growth sprays for faster hair growth. So if you're interested, be sure to stick around and watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now before we dive into it guys, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I never take it for granted, you know, the fact that you support me, so thank you so much. If it's your first time here, I'm Vanessa, I make natural hair videos including lots of DIYs like this one, you know, to help us grow strong, healthy and long natural hair. So if this kind of content interests you, consider subscribing to join the family and also Hit your notification bell so you're the first to know any time that I post a new video. So let's hop into it guys. The first spray is basically fenugreek and rosemary spray. Now fenugreek seeds are a rich source of iron and protein and these are two essential nutrients for hair growth. They also contain some unique compounds called flavonoid and saponin. Uh, I, I think it's, it's saponins and these are actually uh, presumed to induce hair growth due to their anti-inflammatory properties. Now rosemary also is great because it stimulates blood circulation to the scalp promoting hair growth. It also has anti-inflammatory properties that helps to nourish the hair follicles and also soothes and inflames scalp. Now I got this from my you know, uh, grocery uh, store. So you can find this in most stores that sells food pretty much. So you want to combine both of those together and then add in some hot water and allow this to infuse for at least two hours. Now, after that, this is what you end up with a nice goldish kind of liquid. Now I'm going in to add my oils. I'm using castor oil here. Castor oil is just great for hair growth as well, guys, because it helps make our roots stronger. And also I'm using some essential oils. So Rosemary essential oils, peppermint essential oils, and tea tree essential oils are the ones that I'm using. You cannot actually use, you know, any other type of essential oils that you want, but I prefer these ones because they have amazing properties. Now, essential oils are just good because they improve blood circulation around the scalp area and they do help in promoting a healthy scalp. And we know healthy scalp means good environment for hair to grow. So pop down your spray bottle and then you're ready to use it. So that's it guys, nice and ready. You can use this as a leave-in conditioner if you want to, or you can just leave, use it as an overnight hair growth spray and then wash it in the morning. Um, so that's basically what it looks like. Now the second spray, again, contains fenugreek seeds um, because fenugreek are just, it's just amazing guys. Like really, really good for hair growth, especially you know if you've got those, those thin areas that you're trying to get hair to grow from or if your hair is generally thin and you're trying to get it thick fenugreek is definitely great now for this one i'll suggest you use the fenugreek powder but if you don't have the powder like like me then pop your seeds in your blender and uh, we're going to try and make it you know into a powdery consistency now the other seed that i'm combining with this is black seeds now black seeds have antibacterial antifungi anti-inflammatory properties and they're also full of antioxidants now they also contains fatty acids which actually help seal the moisture in individual hair shaft um, and also it does help sort of promote healthy hair growth now black seed is not only good for our hair guys also amazing for our general health so you can actually consume this as well if you want to so blend that all together just like i did mine was not really fine but it's it's okay um obviously if you can actually get the powder this will be much better so pop some of that in a little bowl i realized later that i made too much so if that's the case don't worry just store that for next time now we're going to go in to add some hot water again now you can use you know cold water if you want to in all of these sprays you can use cold water you might just need to leave it to infuse a little bit longer hot water just makes the process a little bit shorter i think um but cold water will be absolutely fine you can infuse this as well for the whole day if you want to um, but I would say minimum two hours is definitely a good time um, to infuse nicely so I'm now going to pop the remainder of my black seed and fenugreek seed that I blended into a freezer bag um, so basically just so I can store it and I will use it next time to make 
and oil um, so if you if it happens that you make too much don't worry about it just store it for your next DIY so that's pretty much what it looks like you know in the bag and it stores pretty well so this is what it looks like now after two hours um, so it's a little bit thick um, but that's okay it's just because of the way the seeds are so don't worry if, if yours turns out like this we're now going to go ahead and strain this now you can use a tea towel um stocking cap like anything you've got available i'm using a wig cap here this is the one that i usually use for my diys i promise this doesn't have a hole in it <laughs> you know because I, I think i had one that had a hole that i i, I remember i did like a an aloe vera treatment on my hair and i had some stuff left in my hair after i strained i was like how did this happen because i had a hole but anyways yeah this one doesn't have a hole so yeah just pop that in there you now want to gently you know squeeze it just so you can get the the juice or not the juice sorry <laughs> you can get the liquid out now you don't want to be too rough as you're doing this so you don't actually end up with some of the seeds in your mixture so just be as gentle as you possibly can um so yeah now i'll suggest that you use these sprays i mean the way that i normally use them i use them as um you know leave-in conditioners sometimes i wash them out because of the smell so i suggest you do if you are worried about you know how this smells in your hair or if you don't mind the smell just leave it in and that's absolutely fine so i had that the pulp there guys you can keep that and use it as a mask later on if you want to um so this is basically what the liquid looks like so again i'm going to pop that in my spray bottle i now added some water to rinse you know the bowl that i had and also i found that this was a little bit thick for the consistency that i wanted to go for so that's why i added some water to it so if yours happen to be thick like this guys don't worry just add some water and then give it a good shake and then it will be nice and liquid you know in a, it would kind of look like a spray pretty much and it will make it easier to get it out of your spray bottle so yeah so that's basically what it looks like so the third spray that's definitely amazing for high growth as well guys it's basically my aloe vera spray you guys know how much i love aloe vera like you're probably fed up of me talking about aloe vera at this point so I'm not going to go too much into the details because I've got so many videos on my channel where I use aloe vera and I tell you guys about the whole benefits of of it pretty much. Um, so this one, this spray is very easy and simple to make. Probably have seen me make them make it before. Um, so you just you just need an aloe vera leaf pretty much. If you don't have one, um, it's fine to use aloe vera juice from the store as long as it's you know 100% uh, pure you can certainly use that I have personally never used those because you know I just prefer to make mine this way but I understand that some places or some people can have access to aloe vera um, so that's fine you can just use the juice as well it will certainly give you same the same benefits so if you're using the leaf just like I'm doing here just blend it um long enough somebody told me before that i get like a jelly like consistency because i don't blend it as much and it actually worked so make sure you blend yours properly guys because we want this to be a spray so after that strain it and then i'm going in to add my oil again i'm using castor oil here but you can use any other oil of your choice it could be olive oil um it could be i don't know uh argan oil like any other oil that you've got pretty much so after I mix that all together, I'm now transferring it into my spray bottle again. And that's pretty much where I'm going to use it from. Now I find that aloe vera doesn't smell too bad to be honest. So usually I would leave this in my hair for as long as possible. Um, pretty much until like wash day. Because I don't really mind the smell of this. But if you do, you can add some essential oils in it as well. Um, just to make it smell a little bit better if you want to. So the fourth spray... Um, that we're going to make guys is basically one containing hibiscus now hibiscus is great for hair guys because it stops hair loss 
it makes our hair look healthy and lustrous prevents premature growing it thickens hair and adds volume which is really good especially you know if you've got those areas that are a little bit thin or if you've got thin hair in general and you're trying to get it thicker it's really good to incorporate you know hibiscus in your in your regimen it treats dandruff condition against freeze dryness and breakage and it also prevents split ends so again i just added some hot water to the hibiscus leaves uh, and then I'm gonna let that sit for at least two hours again but again like I said guys infuse this for the whole night if you want to so this is what it looks like you so it should have a nice rich reddish color so I'm now going to go ahead and strain this um, and that's basically what we end up with now I'm going to go ahead now and add my aloe vera juice. I haven't showed you guys how to do it for this one because I already showed you how to do it in the last spray. So combine those two together. Pretty much is a spray that I made in the last one that I just transferred to this one to be honest. And then I'm going to go in and add my essential oils. So again, I'm using the same essential oils that you've seen before. Um, tea tree essential oil, rosemary, and peppermint essential oils and these are just amazing so combine all of that together now you want to go ahead and stir it so that everything is nice and combined i know some of you guys probably be asking where to get this stuff from i have links in my description box if you want to purchase them from amazon but i think these are pretty much readily available in most you know places I understand that someone actually left me a comment in my previous video saying that hibiscus is actually um, part of a Christmas drink uh, in the Caribbean. I was like, "Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> so I can imagine it's something that's readily available in most places. We will actually drink this back home as well. Um, but we'll probably make it slightly different new from you know from the Jamaicans but yeah it's just really great guys you can actually make hibiscus drink as well and it's just amazing too so yeah that's pretty much it guys now you can actually store this in your freezer as well if you want to just to make it easier next time for you know um, for using it for your hair pretty much so this is it for me today thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed watching today's video guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video which will be very soon so thank you so much for watching until next time bye